Hi everyone. Just mind the road noise as it goes past. Um, I'm on my way to the scrapyard. Now this load, I tell you what, we certainly had to rack it and stack it. It's a bit like Tetris. So anyway, we'll turn you around and show you what we got. Um, had to stack that in a couple of IBC pods. A couple of uh, lockers there as well. So uh, we've got a fair bit on there, probably over the ton there, 1,000 kilos. Uh, but when it comes to the vehicle itself, you know, we've got a fair bit on there. Certainly had to stack that. Definitely a Tetris game when it comes to stacking steel. So we got a fair bit on there. The vehicle coming here, she was rocking side to side when I went around the corner, so I got a fair bit on there. I did not think push bikes uh, and motorbike frames and all that sort of thing would be so heavy. But I have got a bit of corrugated iron there as well. I've got treadmills up there. I've got a fair bit there. Um, I've got strapped down, four straps there making sure it's all going to stay on so anyway let's get to the scrap yard see how much we actually weigh i am a bit long here but that doesn't matter because we've got the trailer on so we can't get booked for that one um we've got stuff hanging over the sides at the back there and yeah tried to load it the best i could and uh yeah she's definitely a tetris game so we'll get to the scrap yard see what we're going to get out of this one Oh, he's hosing it down this time. <laughs> Time to find out how much we weigh. Last time I think it was over five ton total. Uh, 5.14 ton. So we're not very heavy. Last time it was 5.2 something. So we're not far off. Get these untied while he's clearing that. Long strip that one.
Yeah. Yeah, 5.1. <laughs> hey, I'll bring in the good loads. Come on. I just want to know how the hell you get away with it. I passed the bloody RBTs up here too. RBT won't bother you. Hey, they looked at me though. Well, I don't. <laughs> how the hell do you get away with it? I don't know, mate. It must be just my good charm. <laughs> it's a fair load. Yeah, I'm, I'm more concerned about the actual tonnage on the vehicle. It's fine. I say that. <laughs> if, we, if we did that in our truck, yeah, you'd be, you'd get, get nicked. Yeah, I know. Like that, that trailer's unbraked. No, I know that. It would only be 700 kilos, isn't that? 500. 500. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> She's only 500. Nothing like pushing the mountains, eh? you got to push them somewhere. <laughs> they, do, they do say rules are made to be broken. <laughs> and I break them. <laughs> They're all undone. Just set them on the side there. Alright, good bit of electric cord there. Yeah, I'll roll them up. Yeah. It's all good. Just don't tangle them up. That's all. Get all the paraphernalia out first. Sorry? This little orange one? Uh, it, no, it comes off, bro. What that? What fell out there? Oh, there. It's the only way I can tie a bloody strap on. Leave it, I'll get it. That's our paraphernalia for that. At the back. Yeah, that one's just got to be pulled out. That's all that has to. Yep. To make this a bit easier, I'm going to go the long way for these two. Yep. There's a long way and a short way on these pods. As you may know. Yeah, mate. Totally empty. Hopefully it'll fit and reach when I get to it. Um, yeah, we can undo the back there. Nah. Sorry, I'm falling a bit behind you. Nah, right. <laughs> Pull that out. Steady up, bro. 
Well, you want this stuff, you know? Yeah, Jackson, yeah. You don't pay us for bloody hot water systems, do you? Nah, people just dump them. Oh, okay. Uh, is they really picky about it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn, system. that's not much, is it? Yeah, just happy. Yep, yep, yep. I think they did. Right. Roll our straps up. Close the door just in case something falls off. <laughs> uh, you can get that back one off if you want. Back one? Yeah. She's ready to go. And I'll put a strap on this one so we can lift it up when he's ready. Yeah. So, but even if you want to, we can drag these out this way. Yep. Because I slid them in there okay, empty, and then I filled them up. Yep. All right, so. I won't move Well, they might. See, the other one, it's on a, on a knob. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll so take I don't know. Off, so. Yeah, take that off first. It might give us more leeway. Give me a chance to roll these up. Yeah, go down with your fork and tilt and go down and tilt it back. Keep going down, tilt back more. Down. Now go in there. Should be right. Go down more, that's it. I think they both weigh about 500 kilos each. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go in there. Yeah, you're lifting the other one. Keep going, Keep going drag it back. You might. <laughs> you almost had it. push the boundaries for weight I do they're always shocked when I come here pop out the road don't want nothing falling on me Push bikes and all.
dust. Wow. Glad I moved. <laughs> Damn. Go through there. I can even have the tree. Got some weight in it, bro. <laughs> I felt it. It's got some heavy. <laughs> you might want to put your fork out up here so we can slide it on. That'd be a go. That way you can put it straight in. I don't worry about the gloves today. Let that lock that in. Do a double action, hand and foot. Yeah, that'll do. You can't go a little bit higher. Yeah, see how we go with that. Gives us something to step on anyway. Not that that's gonna help. Whoa there, I haven't got that in gear. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, we've got that one. I don't know how we'll get that one, probably. I'll tip this home, come back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. If we get both of them. I'll, yeah, I'll come, I'll go down and forward from here. Yeah. I just don't want to hit the tail tag. Oh. Yeah, if you just go down, we slide that that way and then push it that way. Oh, that's right. Just go straight down. Don't move. Whoa, whoa. Now go down. Yep. Straight down, you'll miss it. That's it. Oh, struth. That one's wedged. Ugh. There we go, we've got some movement, got some action. Woo there. Right. Made things easy. Yeah, it does. Get that up into that. I don't need that. Glad I wasn't on that side. Hey there must be some must be some pretty disappointed people over in your house. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the exercise equipment on fucking wood <laughs> They don't want to do no exercise, mate. <laughs> well, I've done a clean-up. It was a once in a year clean-up. Yeah, right. Street clean-up. Council comes along and picks it up, I, I get all the steel. So, it's a win for me. <laughs> Have that one on the back. Trying to keep it as low as possible for him. There's another strap way over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come here. Come on through there. Grab that. Put that onto that. Where's the other part? Strap. Oh, I didn't put it through. Huh? Wait, not yet. Pick that up on the lat for a second. Could be shorter. Go up. Up. Ooh, ooh. Yep. Yep, keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got tension. I'll hop out of the road. I'm out of your road. We only got to wait until he's finished anyway. So I'll leave it here. I'll yeah, yeah, that's the go. Yeah. Like we did before and I'll just drive out. Yeah. Just hope no one else wants the forklift. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 we're waiting for that. Oh. Yeah, so we can yeah. just lift it and drive out. Same bin, mate. Yeah. Keep him out of his road. Yeah. Yeah, we can't walk down there anyway. Oh, well, I just easily rotate them all. So. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, you're on that up. Just leave it, I'll get it later. Here you go, you got one for you. It's a stone there. Close him up, you got him. Straight in the bin. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'll get to two and roll my straps up while I'm waiting. Bit to go.
actually getting it off. So way to go. No handling with the hands. Oh, he's even got a pea plater on the bloody thing. <laughs> Provisional. <laughs> Damn. Tell you what, that was a lot of weight, that stuff. Loaded it on by hand. Much easier when someone can come along like that and just take it off. Makes life easy for me. Oh, you can't clean that up. things I'll have to use probably two to tie the IBC pod back on yeah they're shocked on how much I actually bring in in one go around this side, once you got this side. Okay, that can go that way.
every bit will ease up, you know, nut and a bolt, tech screws, whatever, all adds up. Going up. I'll drive out. Stand on to get up there. Here we go. <laughs> if you can, mate, <laughs> give me a leg up. <laughs> What's the vent trailer, Scott? What's the vent trailer, Nick? That's a bunch of steel vents. There you go. I'll get you to put these in there when you're done. Because yeah. I've got another pickup to do. Yeah, I've got another pickup on the way home to do. Never ends. Don't want no debris falling off. Flying off while I'm driving. some bolts. I don't want them. Like you could probably got about a kilo there. So every every bit counts. In my eyes it does anyway. They can have that. I'm gonna pick up these three cans. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'll take the cans. <laughs> they didn't see that. <laughs> Thank God for that. Just plonk him down there and I'll push him in, mate. I don't need to tie these in, which would be good. They only just fit in here. 
I'll move forward so he can back in. Dust. We'll go and find out how much we weigh. Well, how much we get. Shouldn't change from here any other time when I come like another way bridge, but we gotta find out how much we weigh in steel. So it might tub a lot off here. We'll go and find out. Two point six. They always seem to wonder how I get away with all the weight that I do take. I don't know how I get away with it, but um, I never seem to have a problem with police pulling me over or anything like that with my weight and my loads. It's just one of those things that, um, I must, they must turn a blind eye or something like that. But anyway, um, we'll get down to the formalities of what we got paid, how much our weights are, and everything like that, what I took over. So our gross weight was 5.14. Uh, our tear after we unloaded was 2.6. So we took in a total weight of 2.54 kilos two and a half ton didn't think it was that much and we came home with a total of $462.28 they did have a subtotal of $585.80 but then they take out their waste levy of $96.52 so that's not too bad I don't mind having to pay that waste levy it saves you having to take all those tyres off and everything like that Oh, especially when it's a lot of push bikes. It does make it a lot easier when I stack it the way I do stack it because that way I can just take to the scrapyard, make them use the excavator. I don't have to touch my throw of it. Um, with the IBC pods, it makes it easier on me. I'm not up there unloading it by hand or anything like that. They just put the forklift in, lift it up, rotate it, it's empty. Um, so there's a lot less on my back. So if you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one, don't forget to smash the like button for the video. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified there's a new video coming out. So until next time, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!